Hey guys, um, I just thought I'd just um, let you know something before uh, we start this video. So, first off, uh, Adobe. We love Adobe. We, we adore Adobe. You know, we love Adobe so much. But here's the thing uh, we're breaking up. Now, this is going to be temporary until, well, we get, until I get a new graphics card. Because you see, um, uh, GT1030. Um, yeah, we're breaking up as well. I haven't found another graphics card yet, so, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know when to let you know, so, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. So, um, until then, I'm gonna have to be editing with Phil Mora until then, so, uh, yeah, this is a bummer. Um, now don't worry, um, I have experimented with Fillmore a lot, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, until I get, um, a new graphics card, um, I'm gonna be editing with Fillmore. I don't know how long we'll be editing with Fillmore, but, um, I can guarantee it's probably gonna be for a long time until I get a new graphics card. Uh, I can't guarantee that it's gonna be what I actually... Is I can't guarantee it's a graphics card that I actually want it to be, um, because well we're we're just gonna have to um see for ourselves. But yeah, uh, always the on time. So um, let let me let, let's get to the video. Hey guys, there four four here. How are you doing today? I'm good. Um, welcome to the Silent Age. Now I did want to play something else, but my computer's having issues at this moment, so I thought I'd play something soft, something something that doesn't beef up my computer or something like that. Uh, so I actually meant to finish this. A uh, game years ago uh, in 2018, and apparently I didn't. So, so we're going to finish it. We're going to actually uh, begin on this video. Um, and before we start, I am recording with Action Recorder. Um, you might not see it. I just like have a whatever, but uh, yeah. Let's uh, so let's begin. Uh, okay, In English. Use headphones. I am wearing headphones. Okay, the silent age. Click to start. Okay, my PC is already lagging. Okay, the present start. Okay, that was actually good. 1968. Alright. Wait, which one are you? Which one, which one am I? Mm. 1969. Nice. Nice. Buffet, all you can eat. Nineteen seventy one. All right, then. Oh, okay. Nineteen seventy two. Oh, boy. What's going on? What's going on? Usually, when usually when we hear that, it's never good. Okay. Okay, so no, so no error or WSD controls, so no keyboard. Okay, so I don't need my keyboard for this. There's a sticky note near the door. It says, Joe, Joe, Mr. Here. Hmm. Okay, uh. I can go in here. 
My computer is lagging. It doesn't. I don't like that. No light. I should change the bulb. No freaking crap. You should have changed this. Come on, man. Look as dead as my light bulb right now. It needs a replacement. Here. You should have changed that while you were here yesterday. It's my reward. I got it for helping out one of the lab assistants downstairs after he mishandled some barrels. I agreed to keep him to keep him here. The war ceremony was so unofficial and I was told to keep the plaque in my office and no one would get jealous. Man I'm gonna take this. It's one of those thick rubber gloves used to uh, used for cleaning those those laps, whatever the heck. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, um It's a blue access card reader. The key the company keeps tight and secure, that's why I always keep my card in place where no one ever comes by. Alright. Run! Run, man! I need a freaking. Wait, so I need a freaking. Uh. <laughs> a freaking key card. Okay. There we go. Um. Okay. He's got one of those little punch holes in him. I'm already getting thirsty. This is A and W root beer. Don't worry, I don't drink. Oh yeah, the the, the thing. Yeah, the, the thing. I like these kind of games. These these story games, dude. Martian. Ten reads into it must be French. Ten reads the gist. Just looks like a couple of colored boxes to me. <laughs> you and me both, pal. I. Uh. Mm hmm. Oh, there y'all, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Cat got your tongue? Just get your honey in there. <laughs> it's a common rule. I'm not a bantanist or anything, but I used to have one at home that came with a little name tag, okay? I like the design of the door. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. Copenhagen. Copenhagen. I hope I'm reading that right. Uh, Brooks. Brooks sales. Amsterdam. All right then. Stop messing with your hair. I know it's nappy. Mine's nappy too. I have dreads. I have locks in it. I had never been one for heights, but behind these thick panes of glass, I can sort of appreciate the view. Is our president Honest Richard, I call him. I think it will catch on. Okay. Even the ashtray looks expensive. You and me both. Alright. Ah, Jasper. It uh, of course, Joseph. Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, yes, then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders hard-working clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just... buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. It... it I'm... Sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man. And you've just made yourself a gold star. 
This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments too. Huh? That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank decided to pursue a different career path this morning. Oh. We wish him all the best. Oh, and of course, Poor Frank. Understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a miserable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... So congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. I recognize the out of the line from, from one of my other videos. But I get a red card. It matches it matches my jumpsuit or something like that. It matches Joe's uh Joseph's jumpsuit. Jumpsuit. I meant. Uh. <laughs> okay, it's ten minutes in. Um. Okay, we gotta head downstairs. Uh, the, th the thing. Use the red ass card with the, with the keypad. Open the sesame. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm, okay. It's a ten four ahead. Nice one too. Oh, wait a minute. It's like blood. Maybe someone cut themselves or a lab animal got loose or something. Either way, I'll be the uh, I'll be the one mopping it up this time. Hmm. Weird, the hatch is open, but I don't remember hearing about any inspection or repairs being done today. Reminds me of that Pong machine that they and that they just got down at Izzy's. That thing is amazing. I've been down there almost every nine hours since they set it up. Frank said I'll, uh, it'll fry my brain, but I think it works just fine. This data screen is bigger than my TV. You think? What the? Dude, there's just no case of nosebleeds. It looks serious. I got to show this to someone. Hey, boss! Someone's bleeding down here. The label on his keypad says cryogenics. Wait a minute, what? I don't think anyone's in there. I, all I can hear is a little, a little hum. It's locked, okay. More blood. I'm not much of an engineer. I'm not much of an engineer, but, since, but there seems to be something attached to two wires that don't clearly don't belong there. I could remove it, but then put the panel back in place if I had to. So. There we go. There we go. Got it. I removed the thing. Right. Okay. My my arm hurts, dude. All right, lab coat. What the fell out of the coat? Looks like a handkerchief. Uh. Well, this looks like something right out of a science fiction movie. Okay, so we need a band aid to um to. Management needs to know about this. I'll I'll need proof this time. Uh, though. Ever since the stupid Halloween prank that. Okay, um. Okay, so we just head back upstairs, I think. Then we going back downstairs. Um, then going back down this type of stairs or whatever the heck. I don't know. Wait, who do we give it to? Do we give it to the secretary? There's a lot of blood in this handkerchief. 
You think? I should probably talk to her before I start waving that thing at her like a crazy person. Um, Miss Goulet? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, no. I, I mean... Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh, nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. But... Now run along, you little scamp. We're supposed to give that to management, or she's probably the management. Miss Gillette's probably the management, or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so we got the band aid from Miss Gillette, so we go back downstairs and put it on the door. Um, I noticed because I played this before and I was actually stuck on like the the door part. I'm sorry for spoiling the uh, the the story, but it's it's true. Okay, so we get so we put it on one of these. We don't need to put it on like both of them. I should hold the button down. Brilliant. Okay, let's see who's bleeding in here. Oh. <sighs> Mister, are you all right? You're you're bleeding. Huh, that's that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No. Don't. Don't get anyone. Are you alone? I'm not sure what... I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen, <coughs> I'm shot bad. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! You're standing on the brink of an extinction-level event, set in motion by greedy half-wits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame. And though I realized our folly in time, Less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Mm. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting, overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully. You look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I... I want you to find me and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. There's nothing on your hand, dude. What is this? It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. Huh? Okay. You could have just said that. For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. 
the device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> Go. <coughs> Go. Mister? Mister? Oh, no, no, he's dead. I think he's dead. Oh, God, I don't... Help! I need help in here! Stay right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I... Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. Police are on their way. Dang. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna stop here. Um. So. Yeah, let me know what you think of the um, of the um, of the other Silent Age. Um. So we just got past chapter one. We're on chapter two now. The future. So yeah. Let me know what you think. Um. I'm gonna be playing more of it. Um. Soon. If you're watching this video, please do like, subscribe, comment your favorite part of the video is, comment what your favorite part of the game is. Cut catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'll be honest, I probably take the time machine too because I have no other I have no other choice to. I'd rather listen to them than just like, you know, try and call an ambulance or something like that. So yeah.